in measures implemented by the authoritarian public officials. Measures that they all claim are in the interest of public health have had permanent, life-altering, negative impacts on not just the health of Nevada's economy, but that of our children, our small businesses, and many of our most vulnerable. Then, when the vulnerable and desperate turn to the governor's office for help, we were met and continue to be met with an inadequate, broken system. Inefficient government programs and funds that can't be accessed. We've endured two full years of authoritarian overreach that is guided by the constant shifting of the scientific goalposts. Our nation has reached a point where many of us feel faceless and nameless against the ruling elite that appear to live by a different set of rules than the rest of us. Why is it front page news for me to confront an elected official in a public place, but it's not front page news for Kathy Sisolak to hold multiple government contracts through her company she still actively owns and manages? Why is it front page news when I ask Mr. Sisolak questions about his dealings, but it's not front page news when he refuses to answer questions regarding the many concerns of the Route 91 Victims Fund? Mm. Yep. Why is it okay for all of you to sit here and put me under a microscope? but refuse to apply the same standard to one of the most powerful politicians in the country. We, the people, reserve the right to evaluate our elected officials with the same, if not higher standards than the public are expected to obey. They incorrectly label and brand any who defy them as racists, dangerous and violent. Our leaders have turned a blind eye to grievances of the people they claim to serve. How do we make those who are so inaccessible listen? How do we express our disapproval of shady, late night, closed door voting sessions that have literally changed the laws on how we elect our leaders. Laws that were implemented without the consent of Nevadans. We have a right to ask our politicians about their business dealings and alliances to entities outside of our borders. We are responsible for staying active in our communities to preserve the liberties that so many have fought and died for. I will not apologize. I will not apologize for speaking out and expressing two years of frustration. I will not apologize for holding public officials responsible for their choices. I will not apologize for using language that is heard endlessly on every social media and music streaming platform daily. I will not apologize for giving a voice to the voiceless or a face to the faceless. I will not apologize for standing up for my beliefs. I will not apologize for using words to send a message to someone who seems to listen in currencies and personal gain. I will not apologize for being a patriot. Thank you for coming. Yeah! Damn right! Yeah. Damn right. No, Missy, we're not going to take any questions right now. <laughs>